What's up guys, Logan here, and as you can see, I'm way out here in the wilderness, and today I'm gonna to be hiking to a uh, abandoned plane crash um, deep in the mountains here. Um, it's a pretty long hike. I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the hike as I go, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory on the hike itself. Uh, the plane and the, um, the pilot, there was only one occupant on board, um, and he died on impact, or so they assumed. They never actually found a body. The plane wasn't found until years later. Um, they assumed that nature took its course, uh, wildlife and um, the elements took its toll on the body but we're going to uh we're going to get to it now all right guys so right now i'm heading up the trail i'll gain about 1300 feet of elevation on this hike towards the aircraft um i'll do about four miles on these trails and then i'll have to go off trail um and that's when my garmin tactic 7 will really come in handy as a uh, gps right now I'm pretty steadily gaining elevation, but it's not super steep yet. But it is uh, extremely beautiful up here, and I will uh, keep you guys updated. All right, guys, so the story of the plane crash is a 31-year-old uh, pilot named Colin Campbell crashed on a November morning in 1995, and the plane actually wasn't found until November of 2001, six years later. All right, so the trail opened up into this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek on through that. It just opened up to this huge spruce forest. And it is insanely beautiful. Guys are coming through some pretty, pretty wild looking scenery uh, right now. It's all mossy. There's a bunch of like small ground caves and big spaces under rocks. Um, very soft ground though. The weather today is actually perfect for this hike as well. And as you can see, it's just all spruce. We're a little bit above 4,500 feet of elevation right now. All right, guys, still heading uh, up the trail. Another cool fact about the plane crash itself is that uh, it actually wasn't even discovered on purpose. Um, search and rescuers gave up. because, like I said, it took six years before the plane was even discovered. A paraglider actually uh, found the wreckage by accident um, and noticed that the tops of the trees where the plane went down and hit the side of the mountain, um, they were still shorter than the trees around it like they had just been broken off perfectly from the plane uh, coming through. All right, what's up guys? Got some fungi growing on the side of the tree there. Uh, it got a lot darker. Clouds have rolled in. Um, pushing out this elevation here, cut across, got about 1.5, 1.6 miles uh, to the wreckage of the plane. Definitely uh, have been working for it. It's, uh, it's basically just thicket, cutting a cutting trail to not have to drop so much elevation down but um we are we are almost up and then i think we pretty sure we drop a few hundred feet it levels out and then the uh debris field should start and then we can follow the debris field to the uh, main cabin of the aircraft if you guys have never uh navigated through the forest or the mountains and tried to find something like this um i personally have it this is my first time looking for like a wreckage or a site like this that can't just be 
um, put into a map and found. Obviously, you can put in the coordinates and navigate to it, um, but that doesn't mean it's easy to find with how thick some of this is um, and how out here we are. Um, I let someone know uh, my coordinates, where I'd be, what coordinates I'm going to, where I park my vehicle, um, and then my drop dead time, and then uh, who to contact um, if I don't return. But I definitely recommend doing this in a team if you want to do anything like this. Uh, guys, I'm going to continue on uh, to the wreckage. All right, I know it's hard to see, but uh, right here, over there, there appears to be a wing. Um, we have some pieces of what looks like a flap here, and it's just scattered. So what I'm going to do now is move in a little further and then follow the debris field, um, find the main cabin, and show you guys that as well. All right, so I found the first piece of the wreckage. I don't know too much about airplanes. I really don't know what this piece is. If you know, you can put it in the comments, uh, but I think it's just pretty cool. I'm not going to move it. It's very sad as well. It's very morbid. Um, I'm just glad to finally be here to be able to observe the site. Um, there's pieces of debris all the way up the side here. So what I'm going to do is just continue to go through the debris field with you guys and show you as I go. All right, coming up on more wreckage now. This kind of looks like a nose, to be honest. Like the cockpit, maybe. I can't tell for sure. Um, but yeah, it's really, I'm surprised that the uh, paint and everything still looks the same way it does, um, or as good as it does, because like I said, this crash happened back in November of 95, plane wasn't discovered for six years, and I mean, it's 2024 now, so, I mean, just, it's just frozen in time out here, and there's more smaller debris all the way up the hill, but I want to get to the cabin. Another piece of debris. Still following the debris field. By the way, if I hadn't said it already, this is a Cessna 414, which is a twin engine plane. Like I said, I don't know much about airplanes. I just read the information on the plane and the report about the crash. But uh, I'm assuming since the higher area is this way, the uh, main body of the plane is going to be up this way. So I'm going to keep moving this way for a ways and uh, I'll get right back with you guys. Again, it's insane to me how well uh, preserved uh, the paint and the pieces of the plane are holding up. I know it's aluminum, but the paint itself is still relatively untouched even after all these years. Um, and the debris field just continues up through here. So that's where we're going to keep going. Actually, I see a really big piece right here coming up on the propellers of the plane now looks like one has been taken off and actually what's really wild is you can still Macaulay serviced by aircraft specialist incorporated um, yeah one of these one of the propellers is missing but again relatively untouched and then up here looks like the main body we're gonna keep on keep on working our way to it all right so we have a side of the front of the plane like where the uh, pilot can look out the window I'm not sure what this box is here and then we have the tail coming up and then the main body of the plane is actually nestled up on this big rock Whoa. Landing gear. Landing gear was down. This is very, very dark. There's another big piece of landing gear over here. Actually, there are parts just scattered. Oh, there's an aircraft maintenance record. 
Ad log system, huh? Uh, uh, I don't know what I was expecting. This is wild. And then over here. Oof. See, that looks like another propeller blade over there. Wood style. Yeah, this is just, this is a mess. Let's see if we can get around the back and peek into there for you guys. Oh, wow. Look at this. So it comes up. You can actually see into the plane. The seats. I mean, for for how long it's been, the seats and everything are really, really preserved well. You can see where the lights are on top. The front of the plane is just gone. And this is... It's very wild, guys. It's very eerie up here. All right, guys, I thought it'd be a, a pretty cool idea to put a uh, phone on the tripod, fully extend it, and then just kind of send it up in the air so you guys can kind of look around at the magnitude of the uh, site itself and then all the way around the debris field. It goes quite a ways, guys, but I really appreciate you all for watching. And I'm going to uh, head back to my vehicle now. All right, guys, this is going to be the last clip of the video. I'm about to head on out of here. Just giving you guys one last sight of the, um, the crash site itself. I'm extremely grateful to make it here. It is not easy to get here. And it's a very sad story, but a story that I'm glad I was able to share. I'm glad I was able to get a video like this to you guys. Um, also, Doc and I have a trip coming up in just a couple weeks. Be excited for that one. Um, I'll be doing a gear list video for that trip coming soon. I appreciate everything, guys. Please subscribe if you like these videos. Give a like. Leave a comment if you want. It really helps out the subscriptions. Um, and, yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one.